Hi, my name is Nate Garvey, Applications Engineer with Panasonic Evervolt, and in this video we're going to be talking about battery electrical wiring and communication wiring. Connect the conductors to the battery terminals. Note that the pre-cut wire should line up with each of the battery's positive and negative terminals. Connect the wires until all batteries are connected. Add the stoppers to the cabinet to prevent batteries from falling out. Connect the appropriately sized wire between the battery terminal block and the battery breaker of the enclosure. Connect these wires as shown and set aside for connecting to the inverter. The finished wiring will look like this. Use cable management to clean up the wires once completed. Attach the ground wire to the grounding lugs inside the cabinet. The other end of the ground wire will terminate in the inverter grounding lugs. Connect the supplied RS-485 to RJ-45 communication cables on the first battery's up port and route this cable back to the inverter where it is installed on the RS-485M port. Locate the supplied RJ-45 cables for the battery communication. Connect a 6-inch RJ-45 cable for the first battery's low port to the second battery's up port. From the second battery's low port, connect to the third battery's up port. Continue this cascade until the last battery, where the last battery's low port should be empty. Ensure that the dip switches on all batteries are set to S or off position. 